during November and I'll say December, our living rooms really feel the flex. They do become, as we say, the heart of the home. You've got family gatherings or maybe just more quality time with your little crew. And you want that space, especially this time of year, to be warm and to be welcoming. So today we're sharing easy formulas to create living room seating that not only looks just right, but feels inviting too. Brittany Allen with Nest Style and Design is here to fill us in. It's great to see you, sister. Thanks Thank for being you. here. It does feel like a time of year when what you do becomes full display, right? Yes, lots of events in homes. Everybody's kind of inviting their family over and it really, you just want to make that cozy feeling inside your home. Everybody wants that. And the interesting thing I've come to learn, I, I can't claim to do it, it's what you do well, but there is kind of a masterful what strategy to balance, cohesion, mm -hmm. pattern, scale. Yes. There are those nuances of your industry that really do amount to a feeling or a vibe. Yes, kind of that cohesive feel that everybody wants. Um, so yeah, it's just like taking all of those elements in to really create a space that you can just uh, sit back and relax in. Let's get into some details. No matter the size of the room, big living space, small living space, you say always start with the rug. Yes. How come? We love starting with the rug. It, you can pull style and color from it. It's really the foundation of the room and it gives us a place to kind of start and jump off from. I think rug size is one of those trickeries. Yes. Furniture on the rug, furniture off the rug. Can you take us to school on that? We always say a more generous rug is gonna feel like the space is more grounded. Okay. So we definitely want to go bigger rather than smaller. So if I'm thinking five by seven, probably go eight by 10. For sure. Just, Just grow up. up. Grow yep. up. And in terms of like, does, does, the, does the rug border the room? Do the furniture legs sit on the rug? What are the rules there? We always suggest having at least the front legs of the furniture sitting on the rug. Okay. That way the pieces don't feel like they're kind of like floating off and everything feels really grounded and tied together in the space. And what about the outer perimeter? Do you want space between the rug and the outside walls? Yes, in a smaller space, you definitely don't want it to feel like wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. You wanna definitely showcase what is underneath that rug. So whether it be carpet or tile or wood, kind of have like a 12 inch perimeter around your space with the rug sitting inside of that. All right, we have some design case studies, which I'm so excited to yes. geek out on with you. <laughs> with those rules in mind, let's start with a smaller space. So we've got a room example with an eight by 10 or a nine by 12 rug. And you see there are really two main combos. You can do one sofa, one chair, or one sofa, two chairs. Yes, just because in the smaller space, you don't have a lot of options, different combos to look at. You definitely want the bigger sofa in there rather than just a bunch of little chairs. Um, and then try and find like the biggest wall in that space and then ground the sofa onto that. And then you can kind of position your chairs around that to make conversation. So the one sofa, one chair, the chair becomes kind of the little star of the room or, or yeah. offset of it. A unique piece, yes. Definitely okay. find one that has a little bit more character and detail to it. Um, it's gonna bring just a fun element into your space. And if we bump it up to one sofa and two chairs, you say to try to position the couch, is it perpendicular? to your focal point? Yes, so a lot of times in our houses, we are looking at either the TV or the fireplace or some combination of those together. Um, so you definitely want to have your main sitting space, your big sofa facing that just because it's more comfortable for everybody. Can you pull off this combination? We'll stick with the one sofa, two chairs in a larger like shared living space, that open concept that's so popular. Yeah, so definitely in these other spaces, what's going to really help is coming back to that rug. It's gonna be that foundation piece. where you have got a huge open concept, you're able to use that rug to kind of create and zone the space that you want to have your living space and then put all of your furniture legs on top of it. And then it kind of divides it from the rest of the house as well. I love how you're breaking this down for us because mm -hmm. no matter what my room looks like, I can apply this formula yes. to the space I'm in. Let's move on to a slightly larger room, talking about a rug that's like 10, 14 or bigger. Yes, if you can have the space for it, then definitely go bigger, but for sure start with a 10 by 14. And one or two sofas, what do you recommend? If you can fit two sofas, then for sure fit two sofas in there. Um, we definitely like to do two sofas over a sectional. We know people love that corner uh -oh. spot on uh -oh. a sectional. Those are fighting words. I know. <laughs> um, it just creates a little bit more of a formal space. Most of us don't have formal living rooms anymore. And so it, like we can do sectionals in the basement. We understand that. There are families and things like that. But if we can get away with it, we love doing the two sofas and kind of making them a little bit unique. Okay, a few different combinations for the larger room. One sofa, four chairs 
yours, if you can afford it. What does that look like by yes. arrangement? So this would be a room that you can't actually get like that L shape in with two sofas just because you don't have the depth to it. Okay. But by creating like two pairs of two chairs, oh. you can kind of face those and really create a cool, unique element. Okay, that's nice. Yes. I actually really like that. It's circular, but I can see where if you couldn't mm -hmm. stuff another couch in there, another sofa, the chairs would at least offer you the seating. And I noticed yes. you did pair and pair. So pair matchy pair. on one side, matchy on the other. Yes, so it optimizes the seating in this space. And then you can see we also have ottomans by the fireplace. You've got lots of options for people to sit. That is very cleverly done. Yeah, very yeah. strategically it placed. Pretty. If you can do two sofas, but only one chair, what might that look like? So a lot of times we see in houses, again, it's that open living space and you're coming in from the entry and you kind of have this great big window. And so you can anchor that with two sofas and kind of keep that round table in the corner to kind of fill up that dead space. Okay. But then the one chair, this one is a swivel chair, which is great because you can swivel and watch the TV or sit by the fireplace and enjoy that. Or you can turn it back to the sofa and again, have that conversation and flow. So if I, st if I don't have maybe a, a, a generous walk path alongside yes. the stair railing in yes. this case, you want it in the corner? Is that where you positioned it? In yes, the corner I of the rug? Yes, in the corner. Another thing to note in these pictures is um, the legs and the base of these furniture pieces. Okay. A couple of them do have legs and then others, they go all the way to the floor. Uh -huh. You kind of want to watch that balance in rooms so that you don't have a too leggy room. Elaborate, what does that do? Just because it gives grounding to the pieces. So you don't want everything up kind of on stilts okay. and being able to see underneath it. Having a couple pieces that are grounded is just going to have that balance and it's going to feel really high end. Oh, see, you're so smart. I wouldn't think of that. So if the couch is on legs, maybe take the chair all the way to the floor. Yes, or like we have one couch on legs and then one with the skirting or the deck all the way down. The coffee table, you can consider that being a little bit more grounded. But yeah, just watch the legs in your space. I don't even know. I want to run home and check. I'm sure people are doing <laughs> that right now. Uh, if you have the space, uh, two so sofas, two chairs, or even two sofas, three chairs will work as a combination. Absolutely. I mean, we love mixing in unique chairs um, and just kind of creating more seating options in unique ways. We do love in this one, it was a little bit more of a modern home, and so we were Pretty. able to do some fun elements. We were able to get a really generous rug in this space, and so those two chairs you can see are grounded uh -huh. on that um, rug. And then the cool thing about this is you walk right into that room and you can kind of see like the backs of those chairs are really unique and fun. Yeah, so be particular or look for something of interest. Yes, and you can do you can do two different chairs and two different sofas. You can mix it in as long as you kind of have that cohesion and that same styling going with them. We go bigger with the rug, and everyone knows what that means for your budget. Rugs can be pricey. Are yes. chairs a place you can save? I mean, I know you want the interest. Sometimes, okay. but I mean, getting something like with a little bit more uniqueness, um, mm -hmm. cane detailing or wooden arms, Furniture is just expensive it and cool just stuff adds is. up. I know, Husbands sorry. everywhere understand the math. <laughs> At least we try to teach them our math. Uh, thank you so much. Really insightful to see that laid out in different size spaces and to know kind of rules of the game as we yes. try to incorporate those into our space and welcome holiday visitors in the coming months. Before we say goodbye, you have an event coming up. We do. So along with our design services, we also have the storefront in South Jordan. And this weekend we are celebrating our holiday open house. And so everything in the store is 20% off. Oh, fun. So come on in, we can get you ready for the holidays and get you clothes, um, gifts, or holiday decor. Fantastic. So Saturday? Saturday Friday and Saturday. Okay. And you can find us online, nestdialdesign.com. We'll link you from our website. Good luck with the event. Thank you Thank so much you. for sharing your expertise.